Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding an angle in a triangle. Now, if you want to find an angle in a triangle, there's many ways of doing it, but one way I'm going to show you now is by the cosine rule. And to use this rule, you need to know the lengths of all three sides of the triangle. And normally, we do it with non right angle triangles. So for instance, if you wanted to find, say, this angle here, which we'll label theta, let's say the side opposite theta, one of the sides that we need to know, is 6.9 centimeters. And I'll purposely do that in red, just to show that it's the opposite side. We need to know the other two sides, the sides that are alongside the angle. Let's say this side here is 6.1 centimetres and this other length here is 5.8 centimetres. So we've got a triangle then where we know the lengths of all three sides. Well the formula that we use goes like this. It's cosine of the angle that you want equals the sum of the squares of the two sides that surround the angle. So in other words, 5.8 squared plus 6.1 squared. Or you could do 6.1 squared plus 5.8 squared. It's not going to make any difference to that calculation. Then we subtract the square of the length of the side that's opposite the angle. So in other words, we subtract 6.9 squared. And it's important to realize that that side there goes on the end of this calculation. And now we divide all of this by 2 times the product of the two sides that surround the angle. So in other words, 2 times 5.8 times the 6.1. And that's essentially it. That gives us what cosine of that angle is. So all we need to do now is just work this out on the calculator. And if you do that, you'll get 0 0.3284 and so on. Now to get theta, we need to take the inverse cosine to both sides. So that gives us theta equals the inverse cosine of 0 0.3284 and so on. Now if you want your angle in degrees, make sure your calculator's in degrees mode. So if we inverse cos that, we get 70.826 and so on. And if we round that up to, say, one decimal place, we get that therefore theta equals 70.8 degrees. And don't forget to put that accuracy that you use in brackets there. So one decimal place. Okay, well, I hope that's given you an idea of how we can calculate an angle then when we've got three sides of the triangle. So here's another one for you to try. Let's suppose then you had to find, say, this angle up here, theta. We need to know the lengths of all three sides to use the cosine rule. So we'll put those sides in. Let's say we've got 10.2 meters here, 13.1 meters on this side, and this side, let's say we've got 12.8 meters. Okay, well, I'll leave it to you to have a go at this. Just pause the video, and when you're ready, come back and you can check your answer or see my working just to see how I've worked it out. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. So, cosine theta, first of all, let's just put that there, equals the sum of the squares of the two sides that surround the angle. So it's these two sides that are adjacent, if you like, to the angle here. So it's going to be 10.2 squared plus 13.1 squared, or 13.1 squared plus 10.2 squared. Then we need to subtract the square of the side opposite the angle. So that's going to be the 12.8, so minus 12.8 squared. And divide all of this result by two times the product of these two sides that surround the angle. So two times 10.2 times 13.1. Now just work this out on your calculator and you should get 0.4183 and so on. 
inverse cos both sides and you end up with theta equals the inverse cos of 0.4183 and so on. If you want your angle again in degrees make sure you've got your calculator in degrees mode. You should find you get 65.267 and so on. So if we round this up to say one decimal place that angle theta will be 65.3 degrees to one decimal place. Okay well as I said I hope that's given you some idea now how you can work that angle out. Now if you were looking this up in a textbook or on your formula sheet in an exam the chances are you're just going to be given this formula for the cosine rule. You'd have a non-right angle triangle in the usual way with the angles marked capital A, capital B and capital C and the sides opposite these angles given by small letters A, B, C. A being the side opposite angle A, little b being the side opposite angle B and little c being the side opposite angle C. And the cosine rule is essentially that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now what I've been doing here is making the cosine part of this formula the subject. So in other words what I've done is I've added the 2bc cos a to both sides and if you do that you're going to get a squared plus 2bc cos a equals b squared plus c squared. Now I subtract the a squared from both sides and we therefore have 2bc cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus the a squared. And finally to get cosine a what we do is divide both sides by the 2bc. So you have b squared plus c squared minus a squared all divided by 2bc. And that's the formula, that's the method that I've been using here. Cosine of any angle, let's say it's A, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides that surround the angle minus the opposite side to that angle squared, A squared in this case, all divided by twice the product of the two sides that surround the angle. All right. Well hopefully as I say you can now use these examples as an example if you've got questions like this. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.